when I started my full-time engineering job at LinkedIn. Understanding the test suit, unit test, all of those things were kind of like a nightmare. I have been there when AI was not the part of the day-to-day -day flow of a software engineer. And I would like to draw a contrast. The AI agents can actually read the code base, understand it for me and give me all the relevant context just like that. Now with the integration of tools like Gemini directly into Google Docs, what I have realized is I can just very quickly go through the design doc, get the summary, get the most important pieces of it. And whenever I have to learn about something new, it's just directly available to me right there at the same point of time. So recently what all of us have realized is that software engineering has been drastically changed with the introduction of AI. If you see how exactly engineering job used to be around in 2019, 2020, it is absolutely different than what you compare to as of now. In this particular video, I would like to talk about my own opinions and experiences that how exactly my own software engineering job has changed totally altogether end to end after the introduction of AI. I have been there when AI was not the part of the day to day flow of a software engineer and I would like to draw a contrast between how exactly things were earlier and how things have changed now. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead on this channel. Also, if you are preparing for data structures and algorithms, then do check out the channel of AlgoCamp where we are putting some free awesome content on DSA. So let's just start. So if you ask me that when I started my first engineering internship, then at that point of time, understanding the code base on why exactly something has been done in a very specific way was a very, very difficult thing. When I started my full-time engineering job at LinkedIn, understanding the test suit, unit test, all of those things were kind of like a nightmare. I was not well versed with the concepts of writing test in production grade code basis. So every time when I had to write test to let's say a new set of services, I had to first of all understand on how exactly things are done. A lot of trial and error used to happen. All of this because I was not having context of the existing code base. All of that significantly changed with the introduction of AI. Now, to be very honest, I don't have to be well versed with the code base altogether because I know the AI agents can actually read the code base, understand it for me and give me all the relevant context just like that. And now what I can actually do is if let's say some piece of code is already written, it's become it has become very easy to build things on top of it. For example, if let's say I'm going to write test in a brand new language in a brand new service, I don't have to just go through the complete test setup, test utilities, how exactly mocking are done, not, not at all. If I am done with my service layer logic, I can just directly go and start writing the unit test. This has changed the overall structure and productivity for my coding experience a lot. And to be very honest, I believe the integration of AI with mono repos is way, way, way more better than integration of AI with let's say microservices. Why is that? So when I was working with Google, in Google, majority of the code base is a mono repo, right? So the best part about that is that the overall AI can get the context of not just your project, but instead the complete mono repo. So even if let's say you are going to use some new libraries that are not yet used in your service, still it can get the context from other services, get the code pieces from other services, test pieces from other services and directly integrate it for you. This has changed a lot of things and reduced my code searching efforts a lot. Earlier, I used to spend a lot of time in searching code for similar use cases, similar libraries and similar functions. Trust me, I have stopped doing almost that by probably 90%. Now, interestingly, I have been into companies where design document, writing design document, presenting design documents is kind of like a must. And to be very honest, a lot of time used to go in reading the document end to end. And a lot of time, if let's say I have no context about the business aspect of the things, then I used to Google up a lot of things. I used to try to find that, okay, what is the meaning of this particular statement? What is the meaning of that particular statement and so on? 
For example, when I was in Google Pay, there was a lot of interesting financial terms that I was actually thrown uh, at myself. So in all of these scenarios, manually Googling up things, manually searching up things was kind of like taking a lot of time for me. Now with the integ integration of tools like Gemini directly into Google Docs, what I have realized is I can just very quickly go through the design doc get the summary, get the most important pieces of it. And whenever I have to learn about something new, it's just directly available to me right there at the same point of time. I don't have to spend extra time, which is directly impacting the overall efficiency, which I am getting in reading the design docs. And not just that, even if I have to write the design doc, I don't have to just worry about, okay, how to exactly present a particular thing in a right way. What I can do is I can just give the complete context to the tool and the tool can write it in a very structured, grammatically correct and a very fine tuned way. This has actually improved a lot of time because to be very honest, writing these lines of English, of course, which is very important for the business and engineering aspect used to take a lot of time. So the design doc that let's say used to take two to three days is can now be ready at least the first draft in a day or maybe even less than that. That is significantly better. Now, to be very honest, if you have been somebody who watches, let's say a lot of day in a life videos, then if you have watched those videos in let's say 2020, 2021, you might have realized that a lot of software engineers do spend some significant amount of time from their day in doing code reviews because that what makes the complete team moving, right? You have to spend at least 15 to 30 minutes daily to actually do code reviews, but that has changed a lot. Now, the AI tools can do an introductory review or I would say an initial review for you. So all the nitpicks, all the basic errors, all the build failures, test failures, right? Anything which is not following the basic lint rules, all of those is already automatically reviewed by the AI tools. And now you can start doing the second level of review. This not just helps the reviewer, but has also started helping the developers because they can get very early and initial feedback on their PRs. This improves the productivity a lot and saves a lot of dev time. This is very, very important that I have nowadays feel is improving my overall efficiency a lot. Now, no matter what, every time you might have seen there is some part of your team or let's say some engineers from your team, which are actually working on tools which have, let's say, kind of like a dashboard level front end. A lot of time you will see that it's not a full fledged production app, which is going to be used by, let's say, end users, right? A lot of time, a lot of business folks use some particular tools and you have to prepare front end for them. Of course, there is a dedicated design aspect. There's a dedicated UI UX aspect to that. But I have seen that at least in my experience, the complexity and the, I would say the overall performance aspect of the front end in these kind of products and these kind of use cases is definitely significantly lower. For example, if you see the application of apps like Zomato or let's say Cred, you will see these apps are having very complex front end. Whereas if you might have seen, let's say an admin dashboard of, let's say somebody who is actually doing the Zomato restaurant part, then that will be significantly simpler than the end user app, right? So what I have seen is that whenever I have to work on a front end part, which is going to be somewhere around some dashboard aspects, somewhere around anything which is going to be used by the business folk, which is not having a lot of complexity. Instead, everything should be right there, visible, properly usable, no bugs at all, and kind of like having a smooth experience. For these kind of use cases, for these kind of front end use cases, AI is just readily available, right? Using basic components, populating basic components, making a GraphQL or let's say a REST API call, all of these basic things are pretty much mundane, right? You have to again and again follow kind of like a similar design pattern and just keep on building the components. These things can be very heavily automated by AI, which has significantly improved writing the front end code a lot. Now, an interesting use case that I have seen since I was with Google, then Microsoft and, and all, that whenever I am on call and let's say there is a particular ticket that comes with respect to a service which I don't have much experience with, still I can do a lot of initial investigation based on the code base, based on the code pointers failing, based on the test failing or let's say based on the exact, let's say there is some use case where some UI is not responding, there is some test failing or let's say there is some particular job which has not run properly. 
before actually just jumping onto the service owner and just like panicking all together i can spend like at least 30 minutes in understanding what the service does what it is expected to do what it is not doing since when it is not doing what is the business logic behind all of it and so on so all of this pre context that you get before talking to a service owner is really really important and makes the overall on call experience way more smoother and way more lighter you have to spend very significantly less time in actually talking to a lot of people because a lot of questions can be directly answered right there in your chat which makes the overall mitigation effort very very seamless this is something that i have felt which is very very significant improvement in terms of efficiency and productivity for all the developers so these are some of the top pointers that i feel has improved my developer experience and software engineering job a lot there are so many other use cases also that i have for day to day aspect which are also sometimes not even directly related to the engineering job but also related to the other things that you have to do in your job but these were the top things that i was able to think of do drop your comments that what are some other ways in which you have been using the ai tools and maybe a lot of people will be actually able to get the fact that how they can improve their dev productivity with ai that being said let's wrap this particular video here and we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to talk about a lot of more interesting things regarding dev and career till then take care bye bye i am sanket singh signing off